Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on the uh, Thursday, the 9th of June, 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app on the uh, Google's Play Store and the Apple's App Store as well. And certainly keep up to date with the latest market analysis. Okay, now in terms of the, um, the actual markets, this morning we certainly are seeing weakness. Uh, this morning on the back of well, multiple reasons. Number one, Asian markets down overnight, the Nikkei down 1%, the Hang Seng and the Shanghai certainly weaker. We had weaker inflation numbers in China overnight, so therefore net, net negative obviously indicates weaker growth. So bear that in mind, folks, weaker inflation. CPI, PPI, let me just make a note of that as well for you. Okay, so we had uh, CPI, PPI certainly weaker. German uh, data this morning certainly weaker as well. We had uh, exports, imports certainly down. Uh, so again, hurting the eurozone. Uh, Japanese machine orders overnight certainly weaker as well. Again, hurting the markets as well. UK RIC survey, house prices, etc. Certainly down from the UK's perspective. Again, uh, Brexit concerns uh, arising and uh, due to a lack of investment there. Okay, uh, going forward. Also, there was talk of Mr. George Soros returning as well uh, and opening up massive bets, uh, massive short positions on the market. So again, uh, Mr. Soros, given his uh, persona and aura, obviously he has that negative effect. So S&P and uh, the Nasdaq certainly feeling the pressure. Now, the uh, the bleeding has stopped on the back of Mr. Draghi's QE speech, sending the Euro USD uh, down from 1.14. Uh, French jobs obviously came in stronger this morning as well, and UK trade deficit certainly comes in stronger today as well. So certainly interesting scenario. Uh, now uh, oil itself is still holding that resistance zone, and I did explain the the weakness yesterday in the H&S formation on the FTSE 100 as well. As you can see, folks, the H&S and the FTSE which I uh, discussed yesterday certainly playing out uh, as well. So you're looking at the neckline being 6270. Uh, you're looking at 6225. We've hit a pivot low of 6237 thus far. So, again, take that into consideration too. Okay, now let's try and discuss uh, the or let's try and look at the uh, the actual um, technical position now. So, let me just bring up the European indices. Okay, so weaker Asian markets overnight, weaker economic data from Germany to China to Japan certainly denting sentiment this morning okay right let's have a look at the euro stocks first of all so euro stocks certainly has flushed but it is into support given the bottoming tail here folks bear that in mind so you are now looking at potential support also there's talk of corporate bond buying as well uh, ECB said to buy Volkswagen bonds so again that will keep the European equities supported folks and keep the European equities alive uh, and certainly remain bullish. Hence the reason why I've taken a long position on the CAC and the Euro stocks based on that, on that uh, premise. Uh, again, you are looking at support now on the 60 minute chart, previous resistance equals support, uh, and therefore you are looking for a potential bounce here on the back of corporate bond buying news. The daily chart of the Euro stocks again now coming into potential support. You have uh, this zone here where previous resistance equals support. So certainly expecting a pop here on the back of a weaker euro and obviously corporate bond buying as well. Okay, now in terms of the German DAX, certainly flushed very hard this morning. Uh, is uh, is holding support though uh, at present. Uh, the key support around this uh, 10 zero, 80, 10 zero, 70 zone. Okay, you are looking at potential gap fill above at 10 to 20. Uh, we certainly close the gap below, which I was uh, constantly... Uh, uh, ranting and raving about the gap at 10,120. Not only did we close it, we actually flushed right right below it too. So any move uh, or, or, or rally here now will face resistance. I can't feel at 10,220, and then obviously previous support equals resistance as well. Uh, you do have a horizontal resistance up here, so again that will certainly come into play. Uh, and also you have previous resistance equals support or a horizontal support level there as well. So again, all those zones will be important for the German DAX. The daily chart, the German DAX, just give you a perspective here, back into that gap fill support. 60 minute chart, the German DAX back into the 200 MA now. So you have horizontal support plus 200 MA, and therefore you are looking for higher prices on the German DAX. Just the bearish news certainly has been factored in here to a large extent. Okay, folks, certainly has been factored into a large extent. So again, looking for a potential pop or a bounce here. 
In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC uh, is back into support now on the horizon on the daily chart, back into that horizontal support. Certainly has closed the gap. Okay, so looking for a potential bounce on there. You are looking at a 200 MA a support level holding as well. Uh, so you have this bottoming tail and obviously the 200 MA as well. So certainly two reasons for the French CAC to bounce here. Bottoming tail, hold, uh, expected to hold support and looking for a bounce. Also the French CAC, the, uh, the actual uh, non-farm payrolls, uh, uh, jobs data certainly came out stronger as well. So certainly supporting the uh, the French CAC there. Okay, so bear that in, uh, in mind. Okay, now... The 10 minute chart, the French CAC, uh, again, you are looking at this horizontal support holding, looking at a potential bounce here. It'll be interesting to see how much, uh, well, how far the European uh, indices can bounce here. Given the fact that you do have an unfilled gap at 4450, so bear that in mind. Uh, any pop higher will certainly be restricted to previous support equals resistance. So, again, that will be a potential uh, shorting opportunity for me on the uh, European equities. In terms of the FTSE 100 now, let's bring that up for you. FTSE 100 certainly flushed. Oil price is still still afloat though, still approach, it will still around the $51 level. Uh, you are uh, seeing support here now on the FTSE where previous resistance equals support and you're into that 50% support as well. Going go back to the daily chart, uh, we've certainly held 6320, 6320 at dopping tail uh, two days ago, certainly put a potential top in the FTSE. And therefore, you are looking at potential resistance. So bear that in mind. Okay, six three twenty will be the pivot high for now. Going into Brexit, if I can, if I'm correct, especially given the fact that your stronger UK data uh, failed to propel the FTSE yet higher. Now again, the ten minute chart, the FTSE one hundred holding previous support equals resistance. Uh, bear in mind the HNS target is six two two five. So any retrace here will be limited and restricted. So six two seventy may well be the potential limit. On the upside on any uh, potential bounce here okay so bear that in mind okay folks i think that's a market wrap in terms of economic data for the remainder of the day uh, you have uh, you certainly have in we've just had industrial production actually let's just have a look at this here. economic data release here okay so greek cpi so this is all greece okay it's not um not the eurozone okay so not much of a um, Not very important if it's just Greece. Okay, okay. So not very important if it's just Greece. So, okay. So we have uh, U.S. continuous jobless claims, initial jobless claims again. That will be an important um, economic data point, especially given the NFP report on Friday. And obviously the jolts data yesterday certainly coming in stronger than expected along with mortgage applications wholesale inventories new house price index in canada capacity utilization there as well uh, again watch out for the initial jobless claims and continuous jobless claims that's how at half past one those two will be important and market moving potential events given the uh, the focus remains on jobs okay so again bear in mind a weaker chinese inflation certainly hurting uh, sentiment uh, to a large extent okay uh, and uh, that certainly needs to be observed uh, carefully. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the potential 25% cash bonus offer. Goodbye now.